Morning, Bob. Morning. Morning. Hey, guys, welcome back to another episode of Aussie Farming in the Philippines. It's us, the hands-on people. Well, have a look at this. This has come down quite nicely, quite nicely. Except for the goat pissed on the bloody thing yesterday when it was on the ground. But uh, overall, it's looking sexy Lexi. So we've got all the inside finished to what we need to up at this stage on here. Uh, just got to put the stairs back inside. Bloody took his shit all over it this morning, stunk the place out. But uh, if this is okay, I've got to put the uh, two more boxes back up in here for the turkeys. And netting's going to go across on the top there. But um, overall, it's good. Now, the size is only five foot by five foot. But remember, it's only it's only a milking for um, one goat. So the goat will come in here. We'll have the, the ramp up here with the stockades. So it puts its head in and we lock it in, give it a feed bowl. has its grain of a morning. What do you call it? Okay. Oh, okay. Right. So, we've got to extend the roof out. Now, I bought enough tin for it, not thinking, like always, to go to the end here. But I forgot this friggin' tree here. Fucking coconut trees, mate. They give you the shits. But they give good shade. You know, they give very good shade. And that's the worst, worst thing is these coconuts keep falling down here. So anyway, what I'll do, instead of bringing it all the way to here, which is the dickhead meat... And my thinking was, I would just extend it out to here, yeah, 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 yeah. So we're going to take it out to here. And with the poles coming out from here, that will give us um, an extra foot. So that the tin roof should come up to about here, which is clear from that there. It should, should come out to about here. So that's what we're going to be doing today. Now, we've only got half a day today because we've got, um, we're going into Rick's place at um, Beach Buns for lunch. And uh, so it's going to be me, Chick, Bob, and um, his lovely wife, Joy. And we're going to meet Daniel Nirenberg and his partner in there, Maricel. We're going to meet them as well. So uh, we'll all have, four, six of us will have lunch together. So we've got a half a day. So we only got half a job to build. So <laughs> got to be fucking happy with that, eh? Right, I'm going to get into it. Camera down, work up, let's go. Right, guys, so we've trimmed all this back so we can get into here. This has all been cut off. And the tin, of course, was overlapping. So what we do, we just turn a little trick for you, okay, because we always like showing you little tricks, is turn your blade back to front. Okay, back to front. If you turn your blade back to front, and then you just put it along here and just zip, just cut all this off straight away. That's how easy it is. But put your blade back to front. That was taught to me by an old German builder when I was about 17, on that one when we were doing some restoration work. So it works very fast, guys. Turn your blade back to front, done. Right, so our gravel has just turned up. This is all we're going to use for our concrete, cementing and all that stuff. A beautiful truck held together by paint. Look at that. Look at that. Beautiful, beautiful. Look at that. That's beautiful. The time they dropped this, this stuff, it was a different company. It was all fucking mud. It looked like a big dinosaur with shit on the fucking lawn. Seriously, it was really bad. But at least this one's not too bad. So that's quite good. That is, uh, good. Yeah, yes. Yeah. Yep. Right, so what we've done now is we put the post in. We put the two rails along the top. So we're going to put these support ones along here now. So these ones will go across here. Then we can run the long ones across here in the middle. And uh, we're going to, I tell you, we're going to get all this done today before lunch. I can guarantee it, guys. Water? Yeah. Okay, let's have some water. Right, time to stop and have some water. Right, so we've got the poles in, we've got the supports across. Aye, aye, with coffee. How's that for timing, Bob? Did you see it coming? No water for me, though. Oh, you forgot Bob's water. Water for Bob, you forgot. Hey, there's my bastard cup. <laughs> Thank you, I I. I looking very pretty today. <laughs> very pretty. Thank you. Right, let's put this up here. I'm okay, I. No, he's only joking, aren't you? <laughs> right, so we've got all this up here now. So um, we're going to put the tin overlapping, overlapping back to two over here. We're going to lay the tin down. It's going to take probably about three, four sheets. And wherever the sheets finish, then we're going to cut it off here. So uh, this way we're going to get it perfect. But uh, this is all done, I tell you. We're going to be looking good for lunch today, guys. We're going to be looking good. 
Right guys, so we're just about completed so far. So we've got this pole up here to put the solar camera onto, so they can sweep around and have a good look around through here. Got the temporary mounted up here on just a board at the moment. But this has all come along okay. We've just got to put these in now. Cut these ones to 45 to put in to marry up with these ones here. And it's all finished. So the roof is on, all the water now will cascade over here. And instead of running down here, we had to build all this up here so it didn't go underneath the um, the gatehouse used to flood it right out. But we got the walls up, we got the roof on, so we got everything achieved that we wanted to. We've got to get capping put along here yet. It's all got to be painted in the uh, cement, same as the, uh, what do you call it, the pig pen and all that, the cement bond to be painted in. And uh, she'll be all right. Then we'll do the concreting down through here. And all the way up through here will be the next project. Can't rush a good project, guys, can you? But um, it may look small, but remember, it's only... It's only for a person to sit in here with the goat stand here, lock it in its head and plug the milking machine in. So it's more than big enough for what we need. And it's compact that we've still got plenty of room for the turkeys inside. It's all compact. So I've got to run the wiring and put a power point up at the end. I've got new thick wiring for that. Not this uh, light wiring which is thinner. And that's going to come through here and I'll put a power point up on here as well. So that we can run the milking machine on. But um, overall, it's quite good. So we're going to clean everything up and we're going to go into town. Go into town to beach bums. Beach buns. And have some lunch and have a relaxing afternoon. Thanks for watching us this morning, guys. Don't forget, watch our subscribers up here. They're people just like you. And don't forget, subscribe to our channels. Bye.